Hello, how you doing? This is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And this morning, it's um, May 7th, and it's 8.22. And again, when I start setting things up, I had plenty of tra traffic on the radio, and it's starting to die down, so maybe I can still pick up some traffic to illustrate what I wanted to show you today. And what it is, I got um, a couple of questions from one of my subscribers related to using single sideband to um, receive some transmissions. And of course, uh, single sideband is used mainly by amateur radio operators and utility stations. Utility stations meaning stations that broadcast uh, weather information, uh, maybe a military uh, station that's uh, communicating with aircraft, things like that. So a lot of them use single sideband because it gives them a better, typically, everything being equal, a better range uh, as far as their signal over just AM transmission. And I have a video on that I did ooh, probably a couple of years ago about what single sideband is and how it works. I tried to explain it. I don't know if I did a very good job. But anyway, the specific question was tuning single sideband on a Grundig 750 versus a Sanjian uh, 909X, which it's different. It's really different. And the Grundig is old school where you have a separate tuning knob called a BFO, beat frequency oscillator that you have to adjust to fine tune in to a single sideband transmission. The Sajin and some other radios, especially the newer ones, don't have that BFO tuning knob. Um, they do it internal to the radio. And so you just select single sideband on the radio and then it turns on internally a BFO type circuitry and you just change the frequency. Now, let's look at the specs for a second. So I printed out from the manuals um, the specs on tuning. This is the spec for the Satellite 750. And here's, it shows you, I hope you can see it, the tuning rates when you're in the various modes. The, um, yeah, so 750 <laughs> um, has a fast and slow tune mode. And that changes the tuning rate that you have depending on the band. So if we go over here to single sideband, uh, which is a little difficult to tune because you got to really fine tune it. it. It's 5 kilohertz at fast mode and slow mode it's 1 kilohertz using the BFO. So the Grundig 750 has a separate BFO knob that you have to tune. So we go over to the 909 Again, this is from their manual, and I think there's a mistake because here is a similar table, and we go over to, they mark it LSB and USB, meaning single sideband, upper and lower sideband. And they show for the fast, they show one kilohertz. They so go back here, the fast on the... Um, 750 is 5 kilohertz, and then and the slow is 1 kilohertz using the BFO knob. And here in the manual, they say the slow is 40 kilohertz. I, I don't quite understand why that's 40 kilohertz. Maybe it's 40 hertz? Because you can turn that knob, that tuning knob, when you're in the slow mode, and you don't see the kilohertz digit on the display move until you turn that knob quite a bit. 
So I think that should be 40 hertz. I'm guessing. It's got to be less than this unless this is wrong, which I don't believe it is because 40, four, oh, excuse me, 1 kilohertz is down to where you need it. So there's a little confusion there. But let's go and look at the radios as far as tuning. I don't know if I can find a station on right this minute or not, but we can still go through the motions. So we're going to start with the Grundig, and I'll try to move the camera a little bit and zoom in a little bit. Hope I'm not over modulating here because I'm sitting right on top of the camera. Okay, so we're going to turn the volume up. And I detuned it. There was a station there at a slightly different frequency, so I tuned off of it. And I don't know if it's still there or not, but we'll try. No, that's where it was, right there. 14.275. It's gone. I'm in single sideband mode, so I push the single sideband button right here. That put me in single sideband mode. If you, and it starts out in upper sideband. If you push it again, it goes to lower sideband. And I think if you push it a third time, let's just try it. it yeah, it takes it out of single sideband mode, totally. So we're in upper sideband. See if we can find a station. Yeah, wouldn't you know it, they're all gone. Boy, I had a good station there for a while. Wouldn't you know it. On quiet. Jeez. Uh, oh, I know. Uh, dummy me. I, I've got the antenna on the switch now so I can use the outside G5RV antenna on either radio and I got it on the wrong radio there there we go let you listen to it for a second come on guys talk so it's gar a little garbled right now Not the best transmission. There we go. Okay, so there's a couple of different ways you can tune a single sideband station. You can tune it first in non single sideband. But of course, when you're in nine single sideband, you get a lot of noise. So it's, to me, it's a little more difficult. Let me just show you. See, I'm getting a lot of noise. So I usually put it. I usually put it in single sideband mode first, and then I tune manually. As you can see, I'm in slow tune mode, and it's tuning at 1 kilohertz, which is oh yeah, 1 kilohertz. Whoops. So that's 1 kilohertz because I'm in slow motion. Slow mode. <laughs> oh, I'm in slow motion. All right. Okay. So that's verified, and then we. When we get close, and, and sometimes, many times, you can actually just have, now I usually use the BFO button knob is down here, and it it's zero and plus or minus. So I try to leave it set at zero. And some, many times, you don't even have to use that knob. You can actually tune it in using the main tuning knob in slow mode. Now they've gone away again. Okay, there's a station there. 
sound like Donald Duck. And I cannot tune it in just using the main knob. So I have to go to the BFO. Danny, stop talking. Oh, there we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, pretty strong. And let me switch over to the Zangian real quick before I lose that station. And then I'll switch back and forth once I get give them both a chance. Okay, so it's uh, 14238. So let's go down. I'm in I'm in single sideband mode by pushing this button here and again you push it multiple times and it takes you from AM to upper sideband to lower sideband to AM again. So I'm on upper sideband, turn the volume up, I switch the antenna. Okay. Okay, I need to I need to turn the volume. Up. I need first. I need to to change the step mode by hitting the step button because it's tuning slow now, and it really tunes slow. I, like I say, I think that uh, the manual is wrong. I think it when it's in slow mode. I think it's 40 hertz, not 40 kilohertz. So I got to get down there first. So I'm going to use the fast mode and get down to 238. Now, I turn the volume back up. There he is. I hit the step button again. Now I'm in slow tune. Now I'm not in... Whoa. Getting a couple of people in there. That's <laughs> two or three in and out. But anyway, whoops, crash bang. Anyway, um, there is no BFO knob. So all you do is put it in slow mode and then it slowly tune it. And that BFO is, or that BFO circuitry, or maybe something similar to a BFO, has kicked in because I went to single sideband mode. And um, I'm getting the super slow tuning uh, by changing the step to, it says 40 kilohertz, I don't think that's right, I think it's 40 hertz, and now I can fine tune it. You get a lot, of more no a lot more noise on this radio. It's, if I can get the light right, you can see it's 37 right now. You can see I, I turn this dial quite a bit before it changes. So that has to be 40 kilohertz. So that's what I'm guessing. So that's the difference between um, the two types of tuning. The Sanjian does not have a BFO. The Grundix has a separate knob for the BFO function right here. And like I say, typically, not all cases, but typically your older radios um, will have this separate BFO knob for single sideband. Now, if your radio doesn't have single sideband mode, you won't, you don't need a BFO, and um, it's just not applicable. So I hope this explains a little better than my email response did. Again, the Sanjian, you just tune it like you would uh, tuning an AM station, except now the radio is in this really slow tuning increment, which is, I think, 40 hertz on, on the slow mode, and on the fast mode, it's 1 kilohertz. So that's the, uh, that's the explanation. I hope, uh, hope that clears up some things, and I appreciate uh, the question. I like questions. Thanks for watching. We'll say goodbye. Bye-bye.
Yeah, I did say goodbye. So I don't have to say goodbye again. Okay, whatever. We're done. See ya.